It's no secret that catalog ads are extremely powerful, but if we're being honest, they really do not look great. Because of its bland appearance, standard catalog creative does not perform as well as it should. Your dynamic ads should be able to leverage all of the creative elements that we know lift performance, like more prominent branding, value props, strike throughs, color, etc. Marpipe is a design platform that gives you full creative control over your catalog ads. Using Marpipe, you can make and test DPA Creative with the same freedom and flexibility you have with other ads. Here's how to get started. The first thing you'll need to do is connect your store to Marpipe. From the main page, you can open the source feed uploader and either choose a file or copy paste a URL. Once it finishes uploading, click Start from a Blank Canvas to make a new design. Once you open the ad builder, you'll see all the dynamic fields from your feed in the left panel. Click or drag any of your source feed fields to the canvas in order to place them. Not everything has to be dynamic though. You can use other shapes, images, and text that are fixed instead of dynamic. Click the shuffle button to see the magic of Marpipe at work. Watch as the dynamic elements you've added update as different SKUs are previewed. Now it's time to look at the render preview. When we click preview at the top right, the system will render a sample of different SKUs so that we can see how they'll look in the output feed. Now that we're done with our design, it's time to add it into a feed. If we don't already have one, we can create a new feed. Since we plan on launching to Meta, we are going to create a multi-treatment feed. This allows us to publish and test multiple different ad concepts at once by using Marpipe to assign different treatments on an ad-by-ad -ad basis. On the output feed page, we can see that our design has been added to a new treatment automatically. If we want our treatment to look different depending on which product is being shown, we can add another design to the treatment. So what we'll do is first click clone, and then edit the filters to only include sandals in this design. Now we'll make some design edits for sandals only, like changing the background color and adding some category specific copy. When we go back to the output feed page, we can see how this new design has affected our treatment. Any products in the sandals category will use the second design rather than the first one. So what if we want to try multiple styles of dynamic ads at once? That's where multi-treatments come in. First, we'll create a new sale design, and then we'll go back to our output feed and click new treatment. Then we'll add our new sale design. Since this is in its own treatment, it can be used separately from the first two designs that we created. After we get the feed published, you'll see how this works. So we'll click publish, and then once the system is done rendering, we can either copy the new enriched feed link, or we can use Marpipe to automatically add it to our meta catalog. When we choose the existing catalog that we want to connect, we leave on the toggle that says use a supplementary feed. This will just add in the Marpipe images on top of the existing feed in your catalog. Now that we're connected, we can go into Meta Commerce Manager and see the new enriched images that have been added to the catalog. Now it's time to start using enriched images in our ads. Let's go back to the Marpipe output feed and click Assign Ads. All of your campaigns can be found in the dropdown. When you select a campaign and then select a catalog ad, you're able to select the treatment that you'd like to be used for that ad. By assigning different ads to different treatments, we're able to test multiple different catalog ads at once and greatly expand the diversity of our DPA. Feel free to try Marpipe for yourself by making a free account at marpipe.com.